this is needlepointers.com with a machine embroidery project for you. This is a crossbody dog walking bag. It's made in the hoop in two hoopings and comes out with all finished seams inside. The strap and the tabs are sewn on a sewing machine but the rest is assembled completely in your embroidery hoop. Once it's completed the bag is popped out of the hoop, turned twice and you have a finished bag. This is a pattern available from Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs. If you are interested in this pattern, please click the link in the description below or go to our webpage on this project. There you will find some photos of this project, a link to the design, and links to the supplies you will need to make this project. For my bags, I found these cute dog-themed fabrics. Don't worry if you do not have dog-themed fabrics. The embroidery design includes dog footprints and dog silhouettes to decorate the front of the bag. I left these off my bag since my fabric was so busy already with the dog themed fabrics. I did embroider these decorative stitches along, along each side of the zipper, but I left all of the rest of the embroidery off that's in the, these areas of the bag. The bag has a crossbody adjustable strap. So you can make it pretty long and it's hooked on with D hooks and swivel hooks. These bags have a large zipper opening that goes the whole depth of the bag and as you can see inside there are no raw seams. So all the seams are finished throughout the bag. There is an open pocket perfect for your dog treats or holding your cell phone and a small zipper pocket to hold the doggy bags. Look at this cute hole for the bags. It's in the shape of a dog bone and nicely finished around the edge. You know, bags stick through the hole. And these seams are also finished on the inside. As with all of Sweet Pea's designs, the design files come with a complete step-by-step -step photo tutorial to guide you through making this bag. Their photo tutorials are always excellent. The pattern can be made in a 5x7, 6x10, or 7x12 hoop. Two or more fabrics can be used for this bag. You will also need two zippers, D-rings, lobster clasps, a slide buckle, batting, and fusible interfacing. I used one layer of fabric type water soluble stabilizer in my hoop when starting each hooping of this project. I have some tips for you when making this project. Cut each of your fabrics and keep them in separate piles for the front zipper pocket and the bag. The front zipper pocket is stitched first in the first hooping and then the the whole bag the back and adding the zipper pocket is stitched in the second hooping. I found it would be easier to label each of the fabrics as you cut them and keep them in separate piles for your front zipper pocket and your back. Make sure you label each of the pieces of fabric with the same label that's in the instructions. This will make it easier to identify the pieces to use when they are mentioned in the tutorial. I like to use flat pins with letters and numbers on them to pin to each fabric to keep track. The cutting instructions are marked for each size bag, so be sure to cut following the correct instructions. Carefully read each step. You will be flipping the hoop over and putting fabrics on the back as well as the front. Use tape to hold the fabrics in place. Make sure you remove the tape after each fabric is sewn down. Also, be sure to trim carefully when it says to trim fabrics and batting. In the end, this bag has many layers and is quite thick when turning it right side out. Trimming is important to keep the seams thinner. This was a fun project to make and will be a helpful accessory when walking the dogs. I decided to give these as gifts for the holidays. I hope you all enjoyed learning about this dog walking bag. Like and share our videos and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. 
Help us spread our videos by sharing them with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other machine embroidery tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy sewing!